<clears throat> What's up, guys? I don't want to keep you long. My uh, man flu sucks right now. Uh, this is from working out, not from sweating from the flu. Um, I wanted to talk about purpose today. Something that's very important. Something that we lose sight of a little bit. Um, or we minimize. Uh, I think when we get into a program, it's real easy for people to put their purpose into fitting into a dress or a bathing suit or a pant size or looking better uh, for wedding pictures or whatever it may be. I want to challenge you to dig a little bit deeper in your purpose. I've talked about this in some of my groups before. I've talked about this on team calls with people after I got the awesome results in the test group. But I want to talk about it now while I'm out of breath because for some reason I think really clearly when I'm in the car and after workouts. Um, I apologize if I like stop to get water <coughs> or cough. Purpose. When I joined the shift shop test group, my immediate thought was, this is going to be really freaking hard. I was 370 pounds. Um, heaviest I'd been in about two years. And when I thought about joining the test group, I thought I was at the point where I had gotten so off track that I sincerely thought of just leaving the company because I felt like a bad example. I felt like my entire life as a beach body coach, I wanted to help others get healthy and in pursuing that and not, you know, paying attention to myself and, and losing that dream of possibly winning the beach body challenge after losing a hundred pounds or excuse me, after losing like 200 pounds, uh, my first three years at the company, when I gained back that 70 or so pounds, uh, I lost hope in myself. And so when I went into the shift shop test group, I decided that it didn't matter if I had hope for myself or not, because it wasn't going to be about me. I decided that this journey was going to be about everybody else. All those other people who are 300 plus pounds and look at a program like Shift Shop and say, you know, I can't do that. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm never going to be able to put myself there. I'm never going to be able to do that program with Chris. And I wanted to prove to them what was possible with this program. I had no idea what the program was about. All I knew was I looked at it and I'm like, yeah, I played football before. <laughs> Those workouts look a lot like, I, like what we did in football. I'm going to lose weight, I'm going to, do, I'm going to set a really good example, and then I'm going to inspire some people, and then I'm going to feel that again, that thing that I love about Beachbody so much of being a coach, being able to inspire other people and help them through their process. So I did it, and in my first round of shift shop, I lost 28 pounds in 21 days, right? Um, Beachbody disclaimer saying that you can't do that, or we don't guarantee those results, whatever it may be. So I did that, and I was able to prove that to people who, you know, people came to me and they're like, I remember you when you went into shift shop and you look way different now and you act way different now. And so it was in that moment that I really thought about it going into round two. I'm like, well, what else is this about? You know, I had that awesome opportunity to, you know, inspire some people, but how do I get this closer to home? A lot of those people were strangers. I didn't know a lot of those people who came up, who came to me and said, I saw your before and after on the beach body page. So how does this hit closer to home? Well, we did this activity at a Super Saturday in Philly once, uh, and I want to do it here. Um, and if you guys are watching, whether you're watching now or watching later, I want you guys to find a paper, paper and pencil, or pen. Anybody even have pencils anymore? I want you to find that. And what I want you to do is I want you to think about the people in your life that mean the most to you. I want you to think about whoever, the people that are counting on you. The people that look up to you, the people that are looking at you for an example, people in your workplace, people in your house, kids, parents, all of those people that mean the most to you, I want you to write their names down. And if they're in the house with you, I want you to bring them in the room. If the test group, and like I said, write those names down or bring them in the room. If the test group proved anything, they proved that this is a program that can completely change your life, that can completely change your mindset, your emotional uh, being, your presence in the world, and how you look, least most. Of course it can change how you look, whatever. But it's up here where the change happens. The meal plan challenges you 23 hours a day to become better, to become more disciplined. The workouts challenge you to push harder, to become stronger, and the consistency of, of day to day, every single day getting something done, 
improves your resilience. It literally makes you a better person. That's why we're so, we're so on you about doing this right. Because if you do it your own way, you're losing the point. The point is to do hard shit that somebody's telling you to do that you, maybe you don't want to do. That's where change happens, right? And so you have this. And if the test group proved anything, it's that that exists. That, those results exist. There are people in this test group that completely changed their lives. They became more confident. They became better in their business. They improved their income. They improved their presence at work. Some people got raises. Some people got promotions. Some people walked into a room and, and some people got dates. Some people are now, are, are, are now you know, happily in a relationship. You know, some people realize their worth and got out of a shitty relationship. All of these things happened as a result of that test group. So you have that in front of you. You have that program laid out in front of you. It's all written down right in front of you. And now you have that name in front of you. You have that person in front of you. And what I want you to do is, I want you to look at that name. I want you to look at that person. And I want you to tell them this. I had everything I needed to change my life, to change your life, to change everything about us. There were a thousand examples of people just like me that changed. I had that right in front of me. And I didn't do it because you're not worth it. You're just not worth it. I had it all right here. I had the best community. I had one of the best programs. I had Chris at my disposal to answer all my questions and push me through this. And I didn't do it because you're not worth it. Can you say that? Can you say that every day? Because when you do your own thing or when you do stray from the program or skip or cheat. When you do give up on yourself, you're not just giving up on yourself. You're not getting off that easy. You're giving up on them. Because what happened as a result of this program is unmatched anywhere else. And the proof is in the, is in the results. So you can keep doing your own thing. You can keep skipping. You can keep saying you're not good enough. You can keep saying you're not, it's not possible. 370 pound guy did this program. And there are many more. I mean, I, Jamie Phelps. I mean, there are people from age 25 to 65 that have done this program. There's no excuse here. Just do the program. And I promise you, you'll get the results. But if you don't do the program, you're looking those people in the eye and you're telling them they're not worth it. If you can do that, then I don't believe you. Think about that. This is bigger than you. This is more than you. There are a million people in this world that don't think they deserve a tomorrow, that are exactly where you were today on day one, except they don't have hope. They don't have faith. You're the one who's going to give it to them. There are kids in your house right now. There's parents. There's your spouse. All these people are never going to tell you they need you, but God damn it, they need you. Prove to them what's possible. You will save way more than yourself here. I promise you that. But you got to do it right. And you got to push every day. And you got to have them in your mind every single day. This is not just another 21-day program. It's not just another six-week program. This isn't something you can just bullshit your way through and say, I did it. It's bigger than that for all of us. And not because we're fanboys or fangirls. It's because we experienced it. And we know it's possible. And so why wouldn't we hold you to the standards? Why wouldn't we try to get what's possible out of you? Why would you even sign on to this if you didn't want what was possible? Because it is. And not just for you. But for everybody around you, be the example, be the best, be as good as you can be, be perfect, your version of perfect. And I promise you, when you come out of this and you look around you and there's people looking at you saying, thank you, thank you for putting in that work. Now I know I have a tomorrow. Now I know I have hope. Now I know I have faith. When your kids are looking up at you and said, mom, I'm so glad that you found your hero on day one and you, you've, you've, 
you prove to yourself what you can do, how, how strong you are, how empowered you are. You prove that, and then now you stepped out. You went and got that promotion. You went you asked for, for that raise. You, you quit your job. You got the job you really wanted. You and dad got, sh- got your shit together. You and your friends got your shit together. You started embracing yourself and loving yourself again and loving the people around you, and everybody around us got better. Because of shift shop, it's happened. Prove it again. Prove it again.